the truth behind Octomom's rehab. I'm Michelle Marie in Hollywood for the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. The Octo mom, Nadia Solomon, checked herself into a 30-day rehabilitation program in Southern California for dependency on Xanax. Where are her children and what does this mean for the 37-year-old mom of 14? Joining us to discuss this story is media psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman and Hollywood socialite and behavioral issue and addiction expert Courtney Semmel. Good to have you ladies. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Now before we begin, we are we're with the Octo mom and asked specifically about rumors of drug use and this is what she told us check it out because you know there are people because you're so high for the people like she's got to right. be on something it's called she the coffee drug <laughs> and it actually i if i didn't drink my coffee today i'd be really scatterbrained i'd be like not focused but it helps me focus i'm so hyper but yeah well that's why helps. okay so she claimed two weeks ago it was coffee dr lieberman are you surprised do you think this is a dishonest interview what do you think about that I think Octomom has not only been dishonest with the public, but she's been dishonest with herself mm -hmm. as to why she's had all of these children and what her life is, and, and she rationalizes being a porn star, being a striptease right. artist. So this is really nothing compared to that. And Courtney, you, you know, you've been in rehab seven times yourself, and you are currently living a sober life. What can you say um, to her recovery? What kind of steps does she have to take? What are you going to see in the future? Well, I definitely think Octomom has taken the first step. I mean, she was willing to go get herself help. Mm -hmm. um, but next, it's going to be all about change. Mm -hmm. So positive influences around her mm -hmm. and support groups, people that understand what she's going through. Right. And Dr. Lieberman, um, what does a dependency to an anti-anxiety drug like this do to your body? Well, you know, depending upon what your psychological and, of course, physical state is to begin with, uh, it can have all kinds of effects. Some people it actually calms down and some mm -hmm. people it perhaps like Octomom, it, it seems to uh, hyper up. I actually, unfortunately today, too many doctors are giving out drugs like Xanax, right. like, like they're candy. I refuse to give patients Xanax because mm -hmm. it is so addicting. It is. And when people go through detox, it takes weeks to gradually lower the amount of drug in your system, and it's really very painful. It's so addictive, too. That's the one drug that just really gets people. Besides the obvious stress of raising 14 kids alone, she's also been a victim of vandalism. Her home and vehicle was egged recently. Take a look. Apparently when I was gone for the day, I was gone traveling for one day, and I didn't sleep because I don't want to be gone long at all. That was the day they threw the eggs all over. It, it, had, it took a couple hundred dollars to, to clean up everything. Oh, there's ants, billions of ants, millions of ants, you, everywhere. You just moved to a new home, you're feeling safe, and then this happened. What, what's going on here? Um, it makes me question again every human being on the planet and, 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 and whether I can trust anybody. Because I feel as though everyone's friendlier in this town, but there's always going to be some sour apples. There. Okay, so we see the ongoing struggles she's dealing with, but do you think this is a publicity stunt? I mean, look at it, a well, stunt. <laughs> you know, I think she's re reg I think she regrets now yeah. that she's had all these children, first of all. And, um, and it is a publicity stunt. She can't stay away from the camera. You know, she has to be doing something all the time to get attention. But what the real secret is to all of this is that the reason why she had all these children is because she's trying to get the sperm donor mm -hmm. to give up his wife and be with her. Mm -hmm. I call her uh, the number one husband hunter and trapper in my book, Bad Girls, <laughs> because that's really what wow. she's all about. That's true. Now, Courtney, I mean, she has 14 kids. She has nannies that are taking care of her kids and friends right now. But what does Nadia have to take away from rehab in order to raise her kids in a healthy way? Honestly, it would be impossible for her to raise those kids without helping herself first. So she's made that first step, as we know. And mm -hmm. you know what? It's time that she does take this time for herself mm -hmm. and get some tools to be able to continue on her road to recovery. We, we all have skeletons in our closet, right. and it's gonna take a lot of psychotherapy and individual therapy to be able to work mm -hmm. through those deep-rooted issues. So. You have something to add? Well, yes, you know, when when she had the octuplets, I actually made three complaints to Child Protective Services to get them to not let the babies go home mm -hmm. and to have them put them up for adoption then. 
And, um, you know, unfortunately, she couldn't see her way to do that for all of these ulterior motives. But right. I think now still that it would be better for her and for the children if she recognized that she really, no woman right. can really take care in a, in a very nurturing way, 14 okay. children. Now, Courtney, you have been in the spotlight over the years. You were in rehab while you were in the spotlight. What can you say to Octomom to help her get through this? How does she handle her road to recovery with being in front of all the cameras right now. I think the best thing she could do is ignore what everyone's saying out there mm -hmm. and literally just take this time to heal herself, mind, body, spirit, return right. to wholeness. Ignore it. Thank you both for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, and what do you guys think of Octomom's decision to enter rehab? Join the conversation on Twitter using hashtag TheDailyBuzz. And for the biggest stories breaking in Hollywood, visit CelebBuzz.com.